Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for Boruto episode 116. So, last episode... Oh, first off, actually. Uh, make sure you guys go vote in the poll. I'll try to remember to put it in the description below. If you don't see it there, you can uh, check out my recently uploaded videos. You might have to scroll down a bit because I've been releasing other stuff. But there should be a poll video that you'll see that'll have the link to the poll in the description there. I'll try to remember to put it here, though, uh, down below in the description. But I have a poll going to replace ReZero. Uh, we're going to be replacing it with something from the fall anime season, because I watch uh, live airing shows for that for that Sunday section uh, that I run. So make sure you guys go vote there if you want to have a say in what I will be watching. It's free for everybody to, to vote. You just have to have a Patreon account. So create a free account, get on there, and shoot that vote out so we can uh, decide what to watch next. So... Yeah, anyways, uh, last episode we had a fun little kind of getting to know Team 25, I believe it was, which I completely forgot even existed. I remember seeing the characters a while ago, but we honestly haven't seen them, so I, c I didn't even remember that they... Like, I think I just assumed that they didn't pass when they were getting... when they were becoming Genin. Um... Even though, obviously, I saw the episode where they did become Genin, I just completely forgot, you know? We, we have yet to see, like, anything from them. Maybe brief glimpses every now and then. Um, because they must have been in the tuning exams, right? Unless they didn't participate. So, we must have just saw, like, quick glimpses of them and nothing, like, super crazy. Or maybe... Because I know they can choose to participate, so maybe they just didn't. I don't know. Either way. I'm looking forward to what happens this episode, though, guys... I'm not sure what it's going to be about, so let's get into it and find out. Alright, so we're going to start the episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. What? <laughs> Is this the wrong show? Is it a movie? You are my light. <laughs> oh, the music comes in. Oh. The end. Well, that was a crappy ending to a show or a movie. No, <laughs> so on his face. The man who lives in ambition. Uh -huh. Boruto, like, doesn't get it. This is gonna be an episode about love. <laughs> it was a totally tragic story! Yeah, Boruto, don't you know that lovers don't just casually tell you they love you. They have to try to say it in subtext and... <laughs> Alright. Yes, Boruto, you must learn how to read people and understand love. Because love is in everything. You must, you must understand love to be a shinobi. I'm a. I'm honestly kind of with Boruto, though, like, 
I've always felt like you shouldn't try to be, like, passive-aggressive or anything like that, like, always frustrates me. Like, say what you feel, man. If you love someone, tell them that. Don't try to be, don't try to be vague, because if the other person doesn't pick up on your, your, uh, your, your vagaries, then you're just not going to get your feelings across, and you're just going to get hurt. What? Interesting episode title. I thought it was going to be an action movie. <laughs> uh, Konohamaru and Ramon was... Or maybe I'm saying it in ramen? Maybe that's what it was. I don't know why I had a hard time with that word. Oh my god, this is gonna, this is gonna be a love episode. What? Don't run into the dark alley, lady! Oh, sneaky sneaky. Oh, she hid behind something. Is she like a... This reminds me of like a noble that's like running away from home. And like the people that are supposed to take care of her are chasing her. And I think that's like who are... Chasing her. Possibly. Uh-oh! Borja's gonna save her and she's gonna fall in love! Oh, oh no, Konohamaru's gonna do it. Love at first sight. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I thought there was, like, cherry blossoms coming in around them when he was holding her. I was gonna be like, of course. <laughs> the music. Where's he taking her? <laughs> I just realized it's not ramen. Ramen isn't spelled that way. I don't know why I'm getting so confused by that word. Remen, I think is what she said. Is that how she pronounced it? So that's that's her name. Konohamaru and her. It's love. But that's a lie. She's lying. But Yes, Boruto. Get, get them to go to Thunder Burger. That's very romantic. 
I, I mean, I obviously know that Boruto isn't thinking romantically. I don't. I don't think anyway. Oh. She she noticed his little quirk of saying, uh, "Kore" after everything. Yeah, what is that monstrosity? Yeah, she's some kind of like noble or something, right? So she didn't even know how to pick up a burger. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There's a spider on my desk. Does he not like sour stuff? Oh, that just looks wrong. Lemons on a burger. Is that what that is, or are those supposed to be pickles? I missed what they said. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm not a big fan of sour things either. Boruto's like being a wingman without even realizing he's being a wingman. <laughs> I think, anyway. Right, she keeps noticing his little tick. I wonder if she's gonna ask about it. I don't even know if we know why he does that. Aren't, were we ever told? Your ninja way is your girlfriend. <laughs> you talk too much. <laughs> God damn it, Boruto. That's such a weird thing to say. Subarashi. Looks like a water slide. Dumplings. What are dumplings? Let me know. I see them in a lot of anime. Are they like... They just look like a dessert kind of thing. But I don't know if they're supposed to be a dessert kind of thing. I almost think they're supposed to be just like a food. I guess I could always just Google it. Aww. This is adorable. 
Wait, what's on her hand? Was that a shadow of the hair clip, or was that something else? <laughs> the different expressions on all of them is hilarious. Yep. Calling back to pain. That was such a cool fight. Nice! Oh, I just got chills. That was fantastic. I love that. And I love how they didn't even have to, like, give us a flashback. To understand what that is. <laughs> Aww. What? <laughs> Boruto. <laughs> Come on, Boruto, read the room. Oh. <laughs> I thought they were still going to be in the, that, that position when Boruto turned around. Oh, man. Oh, sunset. Someone use their words, because I'm pretty sure it's not what you think. Yeah. Pretty much what I figured. God damn it, Porto. <laughs> if it's a mission, we'll do it anytime. Hmm. Interesting. So what is her... Like, who is she? We know that she's someone important. Does Konohamaru know? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Aww! 
That was adorable. <laughs> In love. <laughs> yup. <Yo. laughs> God damn it, Boruto. <laughs> oh my god. Boruto kills me. I know he's still young, and I get it. It makes sense. Show, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Around his face saying that. Uh. Uh oh. He has to reunite them. Go, Borto. Wait. Do they know where she's from, or are they gonna catch up to her? God damn it. <laughs> he, he bought Thunderburger again. <laughs> I guess she liked it, but that's so funny. Okay, so they found out where she lives. Yeah. I got that impression too. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh wait, no, maybe not. Okay. I had a different thought in mind. Hmm. Ominous music. I think my I think my first assumption was right. Maybe I'll talk about it. And that's it. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. So this is this is going into a, at least a part two. Yeah, so, basically, my thought was when I first saw her in that, like, garment, like, I don't know what it's supposed to be, I'm, I'm not super familiar with, uh, with Japanese culture other than what I've seen in anime, you know, so, like, my first thought was, like, Shrine Maiden kind of stuff, but then when I saw, like, the very, like, professional nature and the people walking behind her, it almost kind of felt like... Like, for some reason, I got the, like, the vibe of, like, an arranged marriage, you know? 
And then when she just said, like, I never wanted to see you again, please take your leave, I think it was because she did genuinely have feelings for Konohamaru, but she knows that she has this, like, arranged marriage to someone else. And then when it panned up to that guy, my thought is that might be who she has an arranged marriage to. Or it's something completely different. I have no idea, but... Alrighty, guys, that's the end of episode 116, but... Yeah, to, to continue from where I left off, yeah, I mean... It could be an arranged marriage, it could just be something else where she can't, like, have a relationship, so she was saying, like, she wanted them to leave, you know, to kind of, kind of push herself and force herself away sort of thing, you know, uh, or it could be to keep them safe for some reason, like, maybe, like, people that get involved with their family, it doesn't go well or something, or, you know, I, I almost got an evil vibe from that that guy up there obviously because they gave us like a low shot aiming up at him he was you know looking down at them with a very like deadpan face so i mean i i obviously got this like slightly evil uh vibe from him but that could also be like a a stylistic choice from the anime to kind of like misdirect us in a way where like he's not really evil it's just an arranged marriage which might not be exactly what she wants but she's doing it because it's like how her family is you know but it obviously it could be something completely different i could be completely wrong but but yeah this episode was interesting um obviously it all was themed around that that love stuff we got a couple of the cliches where like the girl being chased around by bad men and you rescue her or something like and then, like, tripping and catching her and stuff like that. It's it's kind of like a lot of the cliches you see when, like, people are together. But I like, like, the, the addition of Boruto in the story being absolutely clueless. And kind of, like, in a way being a wingman. But obviously not the best one because, you know, taking, like, offering to go to eat. Fantastic idea, Boruto, right? But then takes them to Thunder Burger, which is, like... Seems like it would be the equivalent to meeting a girl and being like, Hey, let's go on a date to McDonald's, you know? Like, so it's just, like, kind of funny. And obviously, like, she liked the food. It worked out well. It was something she's not used to because she comes from a rich family. Whereas, if you took her to a fancy restaurant, she might get, like... The, the same kind of food that she served every day, and it might not be as special, you know? So it ended up working out good, but, uh, but yeah, that's just, that's just kind of funny. Um, and I mean, a lot of the other stuff, it, it's funny because I felt like Boruto almost clued into a few things that, like, seemed sort of romantic in a way. I thought he just, like, wasn't fully cluing in, but no, like, at the end of the episode, he was like, I didn't, I was with them all day, and I didn't notice anything, you know? And it was like, oh, come on, Boruto, <laughs> God damn it!" But, like, once again, I know these are, these are young kids, and, uh, and a lot of the times it's, it's harder for young kids to notice that kind of stuff, especially if, like, especially if you kind of have, like, other goals that you're striving for and relationships are on, like, the lowest priority, you know? Like, because there's some kids that, you know, have relationships, especially these days, you know? Um, so they kind of, like, understand that thought process a little more, but then there's the other kids that are, like, girls are gross and have cooties, you know? And that kind of thing. So, I mean... Like, I think if you have that mentality, kind of like Serata and Chocho, you can pick up on that kind of stuff, even if you're a guy or a girl. I don't think it had to be kind of like the, where they made it seem like, you know, Boruto was the, the only one that could, uh, like, the only one that wasn't seeing it was Boruto, you know, but, um, but yeah, that was, that beginning stuff was kind of funny with the movie. They just went and saw, like... It was interesting that they obviously have the technology to make, like, higher quality movies in that, but they they decided to go with a art style choice in that movie. Like, not like it matters, you know? But, like, thinking about it from, like, an in-this-world kind of idea, someone decided that they were gonna go for, like, an old, like... 
you know, they had, like, one of those, like, filters over the whole thing. It looked like a... It almost looked like an old, like, western kind of movie where, like, you know, you have that filter over the whole episode. It looked old. It looked like it would be playing on, like, a... You know, not on, like, DVD or anything. Like, oh, why can't I think of it? Oh, man. I'm such a... I'm so, I'm too young. <laughs> I'm not even that young. But, no, I can't... I don't know why I can't think of the, uh, like, the film, you know? Like, I feel like there's another word for it that I'm not thinking of. But... But, yeah, it comes on, like, a roll and you put it on, like, a projector thing, you know? I, I can't remember the exact where maybe it is just maybe it is just film and I'm thinking about the other way that we look at film but I feel like there's another like a film reel kind of thing you know I don't know I feel like there's another word that is like on the tip of my tongue that expresses what I'm trying to say a lot better but anyway uh it doesn't really matter that much you guys know what I'm talking about I'm sure but yeah it seemed like it would be like on one of those and like all it was missing was a little bit of like shakiness you know and that would have made it like like perfect like it was filmed on some like old school camera you know uh, but, but yeah, interesting choice for a, for a love movie to, to have that kind of style, you know, but anyway, it was just a little bit of world building kind of stuff because we've also seen like the other movies that were just like straight up normal visuals, right? The, we had like a couple of them, I think we had that one, it was either a TV show or a movie where we had that whole arc with Chocho. But then we also had another point where there was, like, a an action movie with, uh, with that one actor guy that ended up getting, like, fat at the end of it or whatever. Uh, or, like, needing to lose weight to try to, like, make the next one or something, I think, was, like, the plot line. It was a while ago for, for me, but, but yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one just had, like, normal. So I know that there's, like, you know, they have, like, normal, like, good cameras like we have today and stuff like that, but I... I guess it was just a design choice for this one. I'm talking way too much about a damn movie that took up two seconds of the episode. But anyway, um, I enjoyed the, the callback, honestly, like, a lot. And I love that they just let you, like, if you didn't watch old Naruto or you forgot about it, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. It's not even a big deal. It was just a cool thing for him to say at the time. But it's also the same exact thing that Naruto said to him. There's no shortcuts to becoming Hokage. That was what Naruto told him in, like, a way early episode of, of original Naruto. And I'm glad they didn't feel the need to, like, show us a flashback to that scene of young Naruto saying that to him in order to make that impactful. We were just able to hear it, and, you know, it was at least impactful for me, you know? That was just... That was really cool. I love that. But... And, uh, we also kind of, I don't know if we've ever gotten, like, I've always, I mean, we didn't really get any new info, right? Like, the whole thing of him saying, like, hey, or whatever, after everything he says, or I don't know, maybe that doesn't, like, translate well, because that's kind of, kind of weird, after every sentence, someone says, hey, you know, uh, but maybe it's just, like, a transition and not, not, not tra a transition, a translation thing where, like, I don't quite understand that, that tick that he has, or maybe it is just, like, an anime thing, and it, it really does translate to that, but, but, yeah, the fact that he says that, I don't know if we've ever had any kind of, like, anything of him saying, oh, yeah, this is why I do that, you know, and even though we didn't learn anything, because all he said this episode was that it was uh, something that, like, a, a childhood tick that he wasn't able to get rid of, you know? We kind of got an explanation for it, but I feel like that was just kind of, like, cool to see, you know? But, anyway. Um, I probably just... I, I did a terrible job explaining my thought process right there. <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, I fumbled my words so much. Uh, but, anyway... I, I liked, I I just thought it was so funny, like, I don't know why the animation always amuses me whenever there's, like, the animation of a character that is, like, witnessing something, like, sad and, like, you know, lovey or whatever, and their eyes, like, lose detail but get all, like, sparkly, kind of, and I don't know why that animation always makes me laugh whenever I see it in, like, cartoons or anime, um... 
it's just so silly to to imagine but but from Serata during the during the movie bit that was funny um but yeah I mean other than that knowing that she's a you know wealthy person like come from a wealthy family you know I I called that early not like it was that hard you know that's kind of like this is like the typical like cliche storyline where someone rich runs away being chased by the people that are supposed to take care of her and like protect her you know but she's just trying to get away she meets some of the main characters in the show and then they you know spend the day together it's like it's a tale as old as time you know um at least in at least in anime, you see that a lot in a lot of different like shows. I feel like I've seen it a lot anyway, but but yeah, I liked it. It was it was just fun watching Konohamaru kind of enjoy you know his time with this girl, and uh, and she was very like nice and, and heartwarming and stuff like that. I don't know why she's acting the way she is now, unless my theory is actually right. But but yeah, I don't know. I'm looking forward to the next episode, though. I'm wondering... You guys don't have to tell me, but I'm curious how many episodes this is going to last. Like, I feel like it's something that could wrap up next episode. Or, if it is going to end up being some kind of combat thing, I could see it lasting more episodes, too. Which will be weird, but... Wouldn't be terrible. I like, uh... I like... I don't know how to say her name. It's so hard, because I keep wanting to say Ramon. I think it's Ramon... It's so hard to say for me for some reason. I don't know why. But uh but I like her character. She was very like adorable and stuff like that the way she was just like enjoying all these different things and and stuff like that. So I hope I hope it's something that can kind of be like explained away, you know? Uh I'm sure Boruto is going to have an outburst. Like if I'm going to imagine what's going to happen in the first like minute of the next episode, it's going to be like uh Konohamaru might be like, let's go, Boruto. And Boruto's gonna be like, what? Why? And then, like, kind of, like, not understand and just, like, outburst something. And then she's gonna, like, maybe break down or something. And then, like, somehow it's, like, whatever's going on is gonna be explained, maybe. But, or it's gonna, like, make them realize they need to look into it more or something. I don't know. But, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing whatever happens next episode. Hopefully you guys are too. If you guys enjoyed this one, please hit the subscribe button. I very much appreciate it. You can also check out my Patreon if you want to see the next episode right now, or if you want to see any of my Patreon exclusives, I very much appreciate it. And once again, don't forget to vote in the poll that's currently going on, so that way we can uh, have a nice, good amount of votes for this, for this poll, and you guys can help decide what to watch next. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.